Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. I'm just checking back in on you this week, see how you're doing. We talked last week about wondering and about doubt, and this week we're gonna sort of continue that story, maybe about some doubt, maybe about uh, something that somebody couldn't believe. Have you ever thought about that? Did something happen to you where you thought, I can't believe this? Our story today starts with our map. When Jesus died, it all happened sort of around Jerusalem. And then when everybody started to go home from Jerusalem, because they had come for the Passover, and there were lots and lots of people in Jerusalem who didn't live there. Not everyone knew that Jesus had risen from the dead. So there were two friends who were on their way home and that's where our story begins. That same day, Cleopas and his friend were walking home to their village in Emmaus, about seven miles outside of Jerusalem. They were deep in conversation, going over all these things that had happened. In the middle of their talk and questions, Jesus came up and walked along with them but they were not able to recognize who he was. Jesus asked, what are you talking about so intently as you walk along? What, are, are you the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about what's gone on in these last few days? Well, uh, what has happened? The things that happened to Jesus. He was a man of God, a prophet, dynamic in work and word, blessed by both God and all the people. Then our high priests and leaders betrayed him, got him sentenced to death and crucified him. And we had our hopes up. We thought he was the one, the one about to deliver Israel. And now it's the third day. And, and our, some of our women have completely confused us. Early this morning, they were at the tomb and couldn't find his body. They came back with a story that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And some of our friends went off to see the tomb to check and found it empty, just as the women had said, but they didn't see Jesus. Then Jesus said, oh my, so thick headed, so slow hearted. Why can't you simply believe all the prophets have said? Don't you see that these things had to happen? That the Messiah had to suffer? and only then come into his glory. Then Jesus started at the beginning with the books of Moses and went on all through the prophets, pointing out everything in the scriptures that referred to him. They came to the edge of the village where they were headed. Jesus acted as if he was going along on his way. But Cleopas said, stay and have supper with us. It's late. You should come and stay with us. So he went in with them. He sat down at the table with them. Taking the bread, he blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. At that moment, open-eyed, wide-eyed, they recognized him. And then he disappeared. Back and forth they talked. Didn't we feel on fire when he was talking to us? Didn't we know as he opened up the scriptures for us? They didn't waste a minute. They ran back to Jerusalem. Wow, what a story. What an exciting thing to happen to Cleopas and his friend. And then to suddenly realize and recognize that it was their risen savior with them. They were they were so excited to run back to Jerusalem and share the news that they had seen Jesus. They had seen Jesus. I can't believe it, I'm sure they thought to themselves. How could this happen? Jesus made himself known. He appeared to them, but he also touched them personally so that they recognized him. That's what we should hope for in our doubts that Jesus will come and touch us personally in some way and that maybe one day we'll all be back together again and we can break bread together. And when we do that together, 
Jesus is there with us. How about we say a prayer? Everybody fold your hands. Let's fold our hands, everyone. Okay. God of wonder, help us to understand that you're here with us. Help us to remember that we should look for you, that we should wait for you to call our names and touch us personally so that we know that you're here with us. Help us when we break bread together, when we read stories in our Bibles, that you're here with us and that you love us so much. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. Have a great week. Learn some more things online and shout your stuffy's name for me one more time. Oh, I'm so glad you bring your stuffies with you. Have a good week, everyone. See you next time.